But if you're entertained, I also have a YouTube channel. <laughs> you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, you know. We're at 550 subs, you guys. Closing in on that dank 600. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yeah, I like finishing runs. That Hollow Knight fight was pretty bad, and I missed Scream Skip, but we'll just get the next one. We gotta start getting 52s and 51s out of King's Pass. We gotta be ultimate gamers. Well, rip for that one. Well, I'm, I'm saying like I should probably like focus on getting 52s. I'm not gonna reset at King's Pass, but I would like to see 52s out of it. Um, I've seen people get to get their vengeful spirit at 331. That's speeding. Hey, Ame, are you excited for Replicant? I'm kind of curious. I heard that they're going to make the combat more like um, near Automata. See how close they make it. Because I hear that the combat's kind of lacking in the game, but yeah, whatever. I'm sure the story's still good. I've never played the game, so I don't really have an opinion on it. I'm excited to have an opinion on it. Yeah, I think it's funny that those universes are linked. I heard Drakengard 3 is a really good game. I didn't really like the first Drakengard. I bought the first Drakengard on release and didn't like it that much, but I was also like 12 and was like expecting a Final Fantasy game because it was a Squaresoft title. I didn't get very far in the game. I couldn't get past the first mission because my my smooth brain as a child. Dude, back then, like, we underestimated video games. I was playing Mario and fucking Zelda and Super Smash Brothers a lot back then. Fuck you, dude. I'm gonna have three masks. Should be careful here. I think I had my like, first stint of puberty. I remember I found the Victoria's Secret catalog and I was like, what is this? What are boobs? And then I was like, whoa. I remember I was like so like dumbfounded. I was like, whoa, what is this? This is for selling shit? That was the most embarrassing thing I did. I remember my sister caught me looking at it and she laughed at me and I think I almost cried. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't tell on me. <laughs> I thought she was gonna rat me out. No, she wasn't a snitch. I was the snitch. I was the terrible younger brother. My sister was like seven years old, or er, my sister is seven years older than me. So a lot of my snitching was because I didn't understand the concept of lying for a long time. So I got people in trouble because I didn't understand like what lying or what the purpose of lying was. <laughs> my mom would ask my sister, hey, did you have people over? And she's like, no, no one was here. And I'd be like, that's not true. And then she'd get very mad at me. <laughs> you little bastard. <laughs> my sister also had dumb parties with like a bunch of people over and then would get caught by my, my parents simply just coming home earlier than expected. So it was like, why well, have parties when... Oh, shit. I don't know, I just feel like that's dumb to have parties when you don't know exactly when your parents are coming home. Like, if if the parents were, like, gone for a weekend trip, maybe I get it, but if they were coming home that night, why would you have a party? It just seemed really stupid looking back. But, I mean, she was a teenager, so... I guess. And if I remember correctly, she said that sometimes those parties were not supposed to be parties. They were just supposed to be like a few friends coming over to hang out. And then it turned into a party, which I understand that happens. Like you invite like two people over and then they invite two people over and then it's somehow a party. 
I just remember apparently there was a party she had with like a bunch of people over and my mom and my stepdad came home. Like literally it was just like fucking people jumping fences, fucking running uncontrollably into the fucking fields. Like, I don't know, beer cans everywhere. You know, like the classic like scatter moment. I just remember like her grand plan of like getting me to be quiet about the parties was just having her friends play video games with me. I think I've told those stories about when I would play Goldeneye with these drunk asses and destroy them in Goldeneye. Dude. Ugh. Come on. Might get an extra attack here. Nope. Kinda high though. I can't believe I fucked that up. Why did I start with a nail hit there? I threw that away, dude. I actually threw that away. I can't believe I threw that away, man. That was so free. Why did I start with a nail hit? Oh, man, that sucks. I can't believe I threw that, dude. Uh, it was handed to me on a silver platter. It was like, take this free PB. I think I'm gonna make some pasta with chicken and tomato sauce tonight. A whole rotisserie chicken? Nice. I used to wait until like the rotisserie chickens go on sale at like the grocery store. Like when they were gonna like, it's either they go on sale or they throw them out. Yeah, that's some good shit. Am I a furry? No. Y'all wish I was a furry. What animal would you be if you were a furry? Aha, JK and less. I think Mario's a furry. Whole like, tanuki suit and everything. Mario's definitely a furry. Uh, one of my favorite things about this game is the movement, as I just scuffed that little mini hop there. fell apart. It's fine. It's fine, dude. I play better at one mask anyway. I couldn't really recover. I don't, I don't know how I was supposed to recover that after I fucked up in so many different places. There we go. Ah, uh, what? Why did I get a right nail? I swear I'm holding up on the knee pad. At least this guy's here. New run, new me. I can't do a backflip, dude. Okay, maybe I'll take you guys to a trampoline park and then try to learn how to do a backflip. You know who's supposed to do a backflip for me? Is Berry Crave. But she hasn't delivered on the backflip yet. You can do a standing backflip? I cannot. I am a large human who's not very backflippable. I can do a pathetic front flip looking thing. The sh gold, give me a gold. God, dude. I am such a moron. It's all good. This is fine. We're just gonna have godlike movement out of here.
20 seconds lost on this one. Very cool. Is there a consistent setup for QGA or is it pure muscle memory? What you asked me doesn't really make sense. Um, Cause even if there was a setup, it'd still be muscle memory, but I believe there's a setup that they do or else there is a setup that they use. Yes. I don't do it because I don't do QGA. Yeah, I do deepness route. If you're learning to speedrun this game, I would suggest not doing QGA. What do I know? I know it's very tempting as a new runner to do all the optimal shit from the get-go, but I suggest not. Also, I upgraded my nail until like 37 minute PBs. I'm the nail one guy. Yeah, I did nail one until I got a 37 minute PB. You there, you route in like you route in stuff to get the extra geo. The run is a lot comfier. I want to desk slam so bad, but I'm not, I'm not, no, no, I'm not a slammy gamer. Nope. 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 No, I'm not a slam gamer. Never. This run's fucking dead, dude. It's not dead. Not dead, but it's pretty bad. I get so frustrated in myself when I fall off the platforms. So frustrated. You feel like such a dummy. What the fuck? I saved 14 seconds? Okay, so that gold is with a nail upgrade. And I almost beat that gold. Crazy. Means my practice is actually working. It's fucking wild. Boy, I heard you guys were here for a speed run because I'm not providing any of that. God damn it, that wasn't clean. Okay. Probably not gonna be a sub 36. Let's not get too ambitious. Hmm. Oh my god, that almost hit me. Just a little time, it's fine. All right, we just gotta hold this. And we get a pretty good PB. Dude, the start game in this, oh, I'm not even gonna think about the start game. Let's just fucking finish the run. Fucking slow, dude. <laughs> it's all good, though. We got the PV. But this run started so fucking oof. I fell off the dream platforms. I fucked up Mantis Pogo. I fucked up Gru's mother. Fucking Green Path. 
Everything was so bad. I think I lost 20 seconds at Mothwing Cloak, and then I saved it with a good Watcher Knights fight and a two cycle Umu. And then I lost 11 seconds. And this, my Hollow Knight gold is so bad. Like, I'm just very bad at that fight. No, dude, this run was saved by Watcher Knights and Umu combined. Like, the, that two, those two fights were like really good in this run. Yo hi YouTube welcome to my channel if you're new here consider following my Twitch channel for all this sick Hollow Knight content streamed live at twitch.tv forward slash matapocalypse. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. And just to remind you guys while you're here, um, before we say goodbye, um, I'm 50 subscribers away from uh, 600 on YouTube. So make sure you go uh, hit me up and sub to, sub to the YouTube channel for all your um, insane YouTube content. All of it.